Oh, 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 oh. Welcome everybody to fucking Stavi's world. We're here, my boy Ian Lara. Uh, of course, we are gonna answer your questions. That's coming up later in the show. If you want your fucking questions in here, uh, the number is what was it, Eldis? Nine zero four Stav. Nine zero four eight hundred Stav. Uh, super producer Eldis. He's going to try not to fuck anything up this week. I'm going to try my hardest. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. No, no, no one's clapping for your bitch ass. Don't lie to the people. Um, so we are going to fucking get into some questions, Ian. We're going to have your expertise with these motherfuckers. But yeah. let's just chop it up, dude. It's good to see you. We is were this talking. Greece? This is Greece. Are we yeah. in Greece? We're, we're in Greece. <laughs> we're Greece. Right now, this is straight. We are in Athens right now. This, okay. is, there, <laughs> this is straight from Stavi Baby Studios at the top of the Acropolis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you dope, like it, man. dude? I've seen so many Instagram photos posted <laughs> from these white uh, yeah. houses. It's dope, man. Dude, it fucking rocks. You ever been to Greece? No. No. It's, it's one of the places, though, when people you, ask Dude, me. it's like... People talk about, like, going on vacation and shit. They ask you, like, where to go. And it's, like, every... I've taken, whatever, ten vacations. Nine of them have been in Greece. Because yeah. it's, like, why the fuck would I go anywhere when else? When is a good time? In the summer? Summer's good, but also October, bro. Because, like, you think... You think it's going to be, like, fall. It's going to be cold. The water is still warm. Yeah. And, like, the tourists are gone. So, like, early October is a great time. You don't want to go in May. You don't want to go before the summer. Because the water's still cold. The way, yeah. the, the way that shit works. What is that? Um, the Mediterranean? Mediterranean. Yeah, I'm, I I did the Mediterranean. I went I went to Israel. Okay. Yeah, nice. and uh, is I went surfing in the Mediterranean. But in Israel, oh shit, yeah, hell yeah, that's pretty cool. I gotta go to Greece. That's I'm gonna go next year. Yeah, no, it fucking rocks, dude. But uh, we got you here. You got a new special out, romantic comedy on HBO Max. Yes, sir. It's fucking hilarious. Thank you, bro. I just figured let's tell, let's get these motherfuckers. Let's get Ian on here. Let's get some of these fucking pieces of shit to watch my boy's special. We go way back from the fucking like when I first moved to New York. We were doing. Like, we are just doing all the same shitty yeah. rooms, yeah. the fucking standing room. Yeah. Uh, the, like... The standing room. The standing room. Eldis, yeah. you ever go there? The standing room? You ever see I'm a show there? It was know, a club. It, so. it was a club. And it was, you know, honestly, it did suck, but it was, like, so important for my it's development. All it's, it's, all it's all we had. It's all we had. It's all we had, yeah. Because we weren't getting, like... We were past at the stand, and we weren't getting spots no. there. And they I mean, had, there was one room at that point. There was, it was one, the old stand, the, yeah. old stand, the small, yeah. which is great, a great place. Yeah. And, then, and then, and the standing room was fuck. It was a hallway that they put two <laughs> tables in, and they called it a fucking comedy club. It was, <laughs> it was fucking like, dude, you couldn't elders. There was no like, if you were staring straight, you were looking at a wall. You had to no, be honestly, like, honestly, like the distance was from like this wall. This to, is I a think deeper this is, room. This is deeper. This is a deeper room than it was the fucking the carpet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, like yeah. It was yeah. fucking hilarious, dude. It was like a hallway we were doing comedy. And you would you would look this way and you would look yeah. that way and that was you like could the look whole... center because it's the wall and um. and it's like you could tell how you were doing to each person like there was no crowd you had yeah. no there was no the lights on the stage like illuminated the entire yeah. room you saw everyone's face the spotlight could... eliminated the whole club <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah 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 there was a waitress running and out didn't give a fuck at all no for for whatever reason everyone who worked there the staff there they were cool but they had no, no idea concern. of how like I mean if the club did it work. they yeah. were like. Yeah. We're not going to care. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but every once in a while, like every room, you would have some hot shows there. You would. Like, every no. once in a room, it would be packed out and you'd kill. And for sure, I mean, thank God for that place because at the beginning, Absolutely. those they no were the only ones time. giving the spots. Yeah. Oh, when I, I lived in this this apartment. I have a Stabby Baby Studios at the top of the Acropolis. <laughs> but this apartment where I, I used to live, when I was, when you met me and we were doing those shows, I lived in like a fucking eight by eight windowless fake room in oh, the really? fucking living room. Oh, yeah. That's that, funny because I always remember you being successful. Like, that's I, hilarious. I, I always remember you being, uh, like. Cause I was like opening for Bobby and I was on the road with Tom Papa. Yeah. And I was like, okay. It's like, it's like at each level, what we think of as success, like, yeah, it got, has it got, to right, shift. Right, but it was right. just like, I was working on the road a lot, like. A lot at that time, but that's all I had. Yeah. I had those road dates, and then we had the fucking standing room. And um, you had the podcast. The podcast was just start. We started. Just we started. weren't. It was like we we kind of made money, probably like a year into it. Yeah. As I went on the road, I had this writing job too. That's the. I never really was broke, broke because my rent was so low, and I had the shitty writing job. And then when I when that I got fired from that, I went on the road with Bobby for like a month. And when I came back, the show just was like making money and I was like fuck I gotta go get a job and then we were like wait 
Yeah. What the fuck's going on? Yeah, we I remember you were rent. like one of the first dudes yeah, that I, I yeah. was like making a living. <laughs> yeah, and, and then yeah, the word yeah, started yeah, to yeah. spread. Like, did you hear how much stop? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. People were fucking pissed. Yeah, because yeah, it was yeah. like, like stop? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah, at that point in comedy, everyone thinks they should be the famous one. Yeah. Because yeah. none of us had anything. No, you know? no. And by the way, most of those people are dog shit at comedy. Like, the sure. people we For were. 100%. <laughs> like, 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 that's why it's nice. Cause it's like you were there. Um, who the fuck else? We had we had some we had some good motherfuckers in there. Um, it's tough to fucking say. Wait, to when, like when we, when we, oh yeah, Petey, Petey, Petey was, Petey there, was there. He was fucking Jordan hilarious. Fisher was Jordan, there. Yep, yep, um, yep. Monroe and Derek they were a little ahead they of were, us. Yeah, exactly. They were ahead of us. But that's um, why it's nice. But it's nice now because like you got the fucking special and it's nice to just because you got the special on HBO and it was just because you're funny. There was no like. You know, the podcast popped, I got lucky with that shit, and then, like, YouTube and TikTok, all that shit's going well, but a lot of people are getting specials now off of, like, just social media and not comedy, Yeah, and it's nice to see I have you no get one, because, yeah, you, your social media's dog Gar- shit. Garbage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the man can't post, folks. Yo, garbage social media. Um, no, yeah, for sure. It, Dominicans like, can't really wrap their heads around social no, media. No, we don't understand how it works. We're still, I'm still doing newspaper ads. Yeah. <laughs> I took out a page in the Daily News when it came out. Got no hits. Um, yeah. No, it, it's good. It's, like, cool being from the crop. And, like, I always, like, you're one of those guys. And I think, I'd like to think I'm one of those guys that, like, when you think of, like, our, us, they're like, all right, well, they're comedians that, right. like, do well, yes. generally yes. speaking, right? Well, that's the thing. You're, the special is so fucking funny. And it's just, like, good fucking jokes. So go... Go watch the fucking special. Thank you, man. And I like it, too, because it's very... I mean, it is very personal. That's another thing. It's like, there are also joke writers, because you're, you know, Ian style, a lot of fucking... you never seen a show with Ian, have you, Eldis? No. No. No one has. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he might... He would come to a lot of my shows. Me and him go back to when we were literally in kindergarten. Right. Um. So he's come to a bunch of the shows. But it's like, you know, your shit is like, for the, for the audience... A lot of just good jokes, set up punch jokes, yeah. and like I, I try. And like, there's I don't. you can you can get a narrative within that, but like sometimes it's hard. A, a lot of good joke writers, you don't really get a sense of who they who they are through yeah. that shit. So what yeah. I really liked about the special is that like it's pretty personal, you know. And there's some stuff that like you know you have a lot of great bits, but it's like a lot of it you do, you know. You fucking figure out who the person is behind the set of punchline jokes. Right. Well, I, I I try to be that. I try to uh, be that because especially like the one thing like in uh, a lot of times in the, in this business, you know, like the black comics get of categorized course. as like having all the charisma in right, the world, right, so right, they right, could just right. go up there with yeah, nothing yeah, yeah. and they'll Absolutely kill nothing off this charisma. Sing a song, right? And, then, and you'll never kill as hard <laughs> yeah, as that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. and then some of the white comics are known as being like really great joke writers. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And, and which is hilarious. It's like. Even in like comedy, it's racist. Like the way they yeah. talk about sports, yeah. where it's like, well, he's athletic. Charisma is athleticism, right, right. and like and like uh, intelligence is joke writing. Right. You know what I mean? It's like it's like fucking. It's right. like you know, well, black people are capable of writing jokes. Yeah. You know, well, I, I always wanted to be like a good joke writer. <laughs> right, like right, I always right, wanted right. when I started comedy, I wanted to be like a good joke writer. Um, but then, like, a lot of people, like, a lot of, like, my friends or, like, people from, like, the, the realm that I come from, they don't care about good jokes. No, like, dude. They don't care, like... Which is good, though, because you get both skills. Like, that's what I yeah. liked coming up is, like, in Baltimore, it was just, like, yeah, you would do, like, these little alt rooms, whatever. And then it was, like, I would go do black shows, and it's, like, I'm bombing with yeah. my material. They and don't then, care about your clever and then I just, yeah, No, no. <laughs> and then I just, like, the host was dark-skinned, and I just made fun of him for that. And they're like, and this people is like, stuff. There we this go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. You're this right. We stuff. can't tell the difference between his black polo and his elbows. <laughs> 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 Like, yeah. you know, that so, kind of so shit. So I always try to, like, I always try to, even even when I'm writing, like, I always try to kind of live in the same, in that yeah. middle thing where I'm like, I want to write a good joke, but I want it to be personable, and I, yeah. and I want it to be alive through me, of and course. not just be, like, letters written in a notebook that could be recited by, like, anyone. Of course, and it's, that shit is so important, and what I like, and, like, and that's, this show is about also just kind of, like, getting to, like, you know, we're supposed to, we're solving motherfuckers' problems. We're getting into like what everybody was into, and yeah. I loved watching the special and being like, and just like seeing, 
just relating to so much shit from like the immigrant perspective too, because oh, I, sure. I loved all that stuff. Oh, I loved thank the you, fucking, man. Yeah, because uh, so you grew up here. You grew up in New York. Yeah, I was born and raised in New York. And um, but like your your whole fan, your family's Dominican. Yeah, yeah. And that my, the, the going on vacation, that, dude. That joke is so, elders. You'd love that fucking joke where it's like the punchline. I don't want to ruin your joke if you want to say where it's like it's. Immigrants treat going on vacation like it's the scared straight program, <laughs> you yeah. know, where it's like yeah, yeah. They're, they're just like this could be you, motherfucker. Like it's not relaxing at all right, when you go on right. vacation, right? Yeah, yeah, that was the I, yeah, that yeah. was the pro- I remember that was like a thought that I had during the pandemic. But you remember like then you weren't getting on stage, so it was like hard to develop it. So I had a, I had the idea, and then I remember I Dude. sat down and I was looking at old ideas, and I was like, yeah, let me touch this again. And I went down the whole thing about like how I had to learn to go on vacation Dude, as a yeah. older, like you're supposed to relax. Oh. And enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, eldest is Albanian. I'm from Greece. And okay. it's like my my family would take me to fucking we would go on vacation and we're from Greece. Yeah. It's the best. Yeah. That's one it's a good immigrant to be because yeah. it's like we even if you're poor, it's like you're poor on the nicest island. Right. Yeah. But my family's from Athens and we would just go and we would just be in the city. Yeah. And it would just be like me eating fucking like mushy pasta with my grandma. <laughs> and it's like he and my grandparents no AC, yeah. both hoarders. Yeah. Both like, both are just like, you know. Same, same. Yeah. I mean, I'm from the Dominican yeah. Republic. Yeah, Beautiful yeah, island yeah. in the Caribbean. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. And and don't get me wrong, we would go like, we would go to a resort for a weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But most of it, it was like, why? That's exactly it. We would go to the nice place for a week. Yeah. And then we're just living in a shittier city. And, right. and I was from Baltimore, by the way. Yeah. This is shittier than Baltimore. <laughs> it was like, we would go. Yeah. And it's like, there's no AC. We would just watch like, old American sitcoms with Greek subtitles. Yeah, it's like, same, why dude, are, we it's ma- why are you making me live like this, dude? S- same thing, same thing. I mean, I was, I'm was i glad I was able to find like a humor in that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Sometimes I feel like uh, um, comedians I have stuff about like, they'll talk about immigrant stuff, but it's like very specific. So yeah, I tried yeah. to keep my stuff like, it don't matter where you're from. Like, of course. It, it's like an experience that you kind of all felt. Yeah. Which is like, I'm, I'm glad that I relate to Did like you motherfuckers have like, I, no, you couldn't flush toilet paper. Dude. The, the like, you would, you would have to, there was our, our apartment, there was a bucket that you had to flush the toilet sure, with. Yeah, the where same, it was like, there was same. no. And shower, you could take <laughs> yeah, you to sh- yeah. the water out the shower. And then we would do this. I don't know if you do this. Like yeah. the normal conditions compared to ours, here in New York, with, uh, in the United States, was horrible. Like, it's like, we don't live like that. We have electricity, we have things. Right. And they would have electricity, but it would leave. But then, like, you would stay there for a little while at my family's place, and then, like, they would pick a day where they'll take you to something worse than that. <laughs> To make you to make you be like this is luxury. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you they'll lower all your thing yeah, and then yeah, take yeah. you to a worse scenario yeah, yeah, yeah. where you're like, what? I didn't no, know it got worse. My mom's mom's like my grandma's village. This shit was just like it really was nothing. It was yeah. like a village on a top. You would like there's no cars. You have to walk the sure. top of a fucking yeah. mountain. Yeah. They have like it's one, and it's like I don't know if the DR is the same way. I assume it is. Mattress technology in Greece is like... It's 40 years It's, it's, it's like insane, about. dude. Like my cousin, I went to stay with him this year. Yeah. Like this year, he had been... He's a 38-year-old man <laughs> who just got rid of the twin mattress he slept on his entire childhood. And he bought Jesus. himself a full... And that and he was like, I he saved had to show it all. Dude, no, no, I'm not He's even like, kidding. He was like, I saved up and bought this. <laughs> and it was like like he has to he like he was buying a car. He bought a full ma- not a queen, a full <laughs> mattress. And the room that he had set up for me to sleep in was his because he used to live with his parents, but they now lived downstairs, right? Because yeah. like the way Greek people have it is like every member of the family has like they built uh, like in the 40s, there was one little house, and then everyone just built That's up. How, 100% in Dominican Republic. And so Republic. every, every I, cousin gets a... my grandparents' house, it was just a first floor, yeah. and then the, their kid, they built another level, and their kid moved up. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And so he used to live with his parents at, into his th- until he was like 34. Yeah. And then they, because they got tired of moving, going up the stairs, moved to the first floor, which was like the guest, which was where we, our family, when we would go, they used to say, but we, we don't go anymore. So they're like, we're just going to move down there. And so he, his parents' old bedroom, which he had, was his gym, and it was like two rusty-ass barbells, a yoga mat, and then he put his twin mattress 
that he had just gotten rid of, he put it straight on the floor, <laughs> and he was like, here you go, man, I've got, I've got your fucking, here's where you're staying, and I was like, hey, man, I think I'm gonna get a hotel, he's like, no, dude, I got a guest bedroom set well, up for you, for, it's offensive no, for I know, and, I, and then, so he was like, and so I was like, all right, he said he's setting my shit up, that's what I was, that's what I walked into, of, on just a twin mattress that had been slept on for 28 years, probably, Jeez. he went from a crib to that mattress, got rid of it six months prior, put it on tiled floor and was like, here you go. Did you stay there? I stayed there and no bullshit. It was two months until like my back was fixed. Yeah. Because I went back. Dude, because I went straight from that to going you know, on the road. fucking American back is not used to dude, that. Used I'm to fat as third shit, world dude. Exactly. That's third world yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, the, they don't know the support. They don't no, know the support here, yeah. I need yeah. after after having the American diet. Right, <laughs> like, right. I'm, I am fucking like there are no people as fat as me in Greece, except my uncle who's fat, who's truly fat as shit. Now, are you known in Greece? Like, like do I no, know you? No, dude, I'm getting worried that it's gonna start happening. My family doesn't know that like how good things are going for me. Oh, really? So I'm so my, now my, like, DR, like DR is, I guess, is closer yeah, and yeah. more connected. So, oh, like, that's awesome. They know, like, they know people, especially know now the the yeah, now HBO. the special, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think a couple things are gonna happen this year. Hopefully. Hopefully that even Greece will understand. Like even my relatives yeah. in Greece will understand. Well, people get weird because like I like I did. I went into when I went to the Dominican Republic last time. I did like press and stuff over there. Yeah, and it was cool. Like I did. They, they have like a big podcast. They're about to kidnap scene. you. They have. Well, <laughs> well, people online like they found where my grandparents live. <laughs> <laughs> and you I'm do like, a fucking HBO special. Your fucking abuela is gonna be tied up. Yeah, <laughs> she's gonna, they're, right. gonna have, they're gonna have her. They're gonna send you a postcard with her. They're gonna send you one of her toenails. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> well, she passed. So. Okay, all right. <laughs> so let me step on that joke. All right, <laughs> no, nice. Um, no, but uh, but yeah, but my grandfather's still there. But but it, like they found it for like no reason. Like <laughs> they had no intentions. They just shared it like on like the the thread. They're oh. like. His family lives over here. <laughs> and I'm like, do you want to kidnap them? Yeah, do you yeah, want somebody yeah, else? Yeah, yeah, What's yeah. The, why are you sharing this exactly. information? They found like an ex-girlfriend that I had. Wow. Like they found her. She messaged me. She's like, hey, I'm married now. Why are you? <laughs> why is the demand? <laughs> yeah, why, why are your cousins asking about <laughs> right, me? <right. laughs> That's fucking wild. So you got to deal with that. But uh, but that's fucking hilarious. But it's nice to like go back to like the old country and get like I got like recognized a couple times that's at the awesome. airport. And that was like super cool. That's for sick. Me. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I wonder because it's like American culture is huge in Greece, but it's like so different. You're right. We're in the same like it's not that far. The is not that no, far. Three from hour here. flight. It's like yeah. Miami. Yeah, exactly. So Greece is like a whole. The second you get one mainstream like really big thing. It's over. They'll talk about you forever. Like but John Stamos? Like, they just don't understand the internet. You know what I mean? Like No, yeah, that's But, the like, thing. over there, it's like, like, if I was in a big, like a, ma like, a major motion picture release for one second, I would, like, be on the news. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's like, but, but having... But, but 10 million views But having 10 million YouTube. views doesn't mean shit to them, right? Yeah. Like, it's literally news. Tom Hanks, Tom Hanks' wife is half Greek. And every time he vacations in Greece, it's on the news for like three weeks. <laughs> like they have pictures of him eating it's calamari. Hanks, it's but you know Hanks. what I mean. It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. his but half, or like that, you know what I mean. Like it's it's not like Tom Hanks came to like you know support anything. He's, he's, he's on, vacation. on a beach having fucking a, a pita. You know what yeah, I mean? And they're like, great though. Tom Hanks. <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> but you know what that means? That means you don't have time to build up. Like you're gonna go from zero to a hundred. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Uh, it's like overnight. They're I gonna know. be like, this is the king of Greece. Thank <laughs> God we don't have that many relatives because it's like, I just like, yeah, because you know, shit is bad, going bad over there. So Cause, like, but even like, you have to think like you are mad. I mean, as far as like Greek comedians go, you're, yeah, I don't know who else. There right, is. Giannis. I mean, Giannis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giannis for sure. But you're like a top three guy yeah. in the country. <laughs> right, right. In that's Greece like for huge. sure. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. That's why. But dude, no, in America, I'm saying like you're oh, a top yeah, yeah. three. I appreciate Greek that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, in America, yeah, I suppose. But Which that's, is like this is the major leagues of comedy. Yeah, but you really. Greek is doing a lot of heavy lifting in that sentence. You know what I mean? It's like who the fuck? It's me, Giannis, and then question mark, question mark, question mark. You know what I mean? No, like, I mean, I'm sure there's yeah. a bunch of guys that are successful, but but to be top anything, yeah, to be yeah, top yeah. anything in the United States is impressive. Yeah, no but matter there's where not that from. many fucking Greeks, dude. There's not. You know what I mean? There's like, Greek comics. There, there's a few. There's Greek I appreciate comics. it, but yeah, you're right though because local, like not real fame. Then if you look at it in like specific lenses. You feel way more famous. Like 
There's nowhere I get recognized more than Baltimore because I started like talking you about can't, the Ravens. Like you walk down the street and it's gotten when ever since I started doing Ravens jokes and like a couple like Ravens videos have gone viral. It's like yeah, I get recognized constantly oh, in Baltimore, really? and it's just hilarious. You got to start doing Giants and Jets, dude. <laughs> it's hilarious. People love football. Yeah, I know. I mean, especially Baltimore. Like that's like a big that's all we fucking thing. have, yeah, dude. Like we don't have another. Thing. We don't have another. I mean, we have the, the Orioles, Orioles, but like you know, yeah. no basketball. Yeah, um, I got. I got like. I, I get now recognized a little more because of the special, obviously, and all the publicity. Like, it's out yeah, right yeah, now yeah, and all yeah, the publicity yeah. they did before. I had the, the weird thing happen. Like, because I'm always down to take photos. And yeah, I'm like, yeah, every yeah. time somebody asks for a photo, I'm like, this is the coolest thing of that course. ever happened to me. But uh, this past weekend, like, I was leaving the hotel. Like, it was like 7 a.m. I was checking out. Where and were I'm you? Like, were on the road? Yeah, I was in uh, in uh, Wisconsin. Okay, a, nice. Some, a club in Wisconsin. Madison? No, I was in Kenosha. Whoa, the shit. Kenosha, okay. Yeah, <laughs> comedy club, which is fine. Like, we did two we did uh, two shows. It sold out, and they were great. And then the next day, I was, like, checking out. You know, like, you're checking out. Like, you're, like, a little yeah, bit hungover. Yeah, groggy as fuck, like, of course. I was getting my coffee, and somebody, like, run up to me and actually, like, for a photo. And I said, yeah, but I was like, oh, I can see how this, yeah, like, yeah, bothers yeah, 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 of But, of course. course, I'm so, like, I'm like, yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm, I'm in bro. Kenosha. I, not only that. Listen, bro. Listen not, to this. Yeah, yeah, listen yeah, to this. Yeah. This is how... <laughs> this this is how ain't shit I am. Yeah. <laughs> Not only like did they rush me to take the photo. Yeah. They didn't have their phone. Oh. So they asked me to take it on my phone. Get the so fuck I out of here. So I took a photo <laughs> and what? To send it to them. <laughs> Yeah, that's next this is level. Where I'm at in my yeah, 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 yeah. That's hilarious. I'm a photographer. I'm the artist. I had to edit it. And then <laughs> yeah, like, could you crop this out? You're like, I was like, all yeah. right. How's the lighting, Ian? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, step over here. <laughs> <laughs> hilarious, dude. This is I where I'm that. at. That's so fucking funny. I love the DR shit though. Though that's I'm interested. Like, do you have you been going back? Like. Do you yeah, go I just back was there. Now? I was there last month. Do you have much family you have over there? Um, I still have a bunch of uncles, and my grandfather is still over there. Nice. And I have like friends, and my family visits a lot, so we're That's still nice. outside. And yeah, and like, and it's like you said, like you get a couple things, like HBO Dominican on HBO, oh, like that. They 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 yeah, support dude, you're it. You're fucking David it. Ortiz as far as yeah, they're concerned. You're yeah. big poppy. <laughs> right, yeah, right, right, right. Well, now I love it. Like I appreciate it because like they they're obviously like a Spanish speaking country, but like we I did shows out there. Yeah, we sold out two shows in English. That's awesome. In the in the capital at the comedy club over there, which that was like a big deal. Yeah, that's fucking. Because the, the funny thing is, everything about DR, like when you think about going to the DR, it's like if you're not from the DR, you're there for sex tourism. <laughs> you know, what I mean? and if you are from the DR, you're there to tend to your second family. <laughs> that's usually that's usually what the fuck it's like. That's what everybody knows. So for you to have like this wholesome, I'm sure you have some fucked up. Like some hilarious, like dude. You know what's funny about family this? members and of just course, like all that of kind of course. shit. And I have family members who literally are yeah. there for both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what's funny? Oh, this your Albanian uncle would love the DR. <laughs> I didn't oh, yeah. even know about the sex tourism <laughs> till I got older. Yeah, of so, course. So, like, I was this young. Like, and by older, I mean, like, I was, like, 23 when right, I found out, like, right, right. people are coming here to have sex. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, I thought everyone just came to eat mangoes. Yeah, and, eat mangoes. <laughs> and enjoy the beautiful weather. <laughs> yeah. And then you have these white men that are like, no, we come here to fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. We fuck nonstop. Yeah, like, yeah, Because yeah. I, I, I was working at the airport with, fresh out of uh, college. So, like, you know, I was working for Delta. So, you had, like, all these employees that would, like, fly for free. Yeah. And then you had, like, these old me men oh. who were like, yeah. I get. Well, I like to start my day with five women. Oh, <laughs> disgusting! I'm like, what? Yeah, just some old guy never been married. Yeah, well, they, they're married. Oh, uh, they're married. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I like to start my day with five women before 12, Good and that's how God. I get going. Then I like to finish it off with Those three women. poor girls. And I'm dude. like, you're having sex with 10 women a day? You're yeah. like, yeah, $75. Best deal in the business. Yeah, dude. That's, they're, yeah, they're, they're looking. That he's frugal. He's thinking about it per nut. Yeah. He's like, look, it's 75 So if I only not once, that's 75 bucks. But if I not five times, yeah. that's a good deal. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's like Costco. <laughs> You get <laughs> prostitution in bulk. <laughs> yeah, essentially, that's what these motherfuckers are doing, dude. That's fu dude. Those poor girls. I'm, has anybody tried to sell you? Does it, like, you know how if you're famous, they'll be like, if they recognize, they'll be like, beer on the house. Has anybody tried to give you? Has anybody like a pimp and like, how about some pussy? How <laughs> pussy on the house? I, I, I'm not. I want to reach that level of success. Yeah, Maybe yeah. I get a Netflix. That'll happen. <laughs> 
<laughs> but off HBO, you don't get that. You, you don't, don't get, get that. No. no pussy on the house off HBO Max. No, no you don't get it's that. It's got to be on TV. <laughs> it's got, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it got to be linear for you, yeah. to, for you to get the. But that's like, I, I was having this conversation with my friend because they were asking me, they were like, all right, like you've done some things. Like, you know, I've, yeah. like, I've done some mainstream things. Like sure, I've done sure. Tonight Show twice and I got the HBO, got the Comedy Central special, whatever. So they were like, how is it like, are you getting like, do you feel like, like you're getting like a ton of women? Like, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. I mean, you get women, but everybody gets of women. Course, you don't have yeah, to be yeah. like, not everybody. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's a group of people. Some of the people listening to this show right now. Can't relate to anything <laughs> yeah, I'm about yeah, to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. But generally speaking. And we'll, we'll get to your questions right, soon, guys. 904-800-STOP. Right. Call in if you don't get any pussy. Me and Ian do, though. So we're going to talk about that for the next well, couple you minutes. Well, you get a ton. You get a ton. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so funny because, uh, like, my... Uh, my like my you know my niece works at the stand okay you know, you know um and like she'll send me like you'll post like a going on tour and it's like you naked on a convertible <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and she's like she's like i love him and yeah. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like this is how he does it like i don't understand he's just like double down it's on hysterical who he is. It's yeah hilarious yeah. if you ju like, if you're just honest if you're just you if you're just you and it's like hey i just bought it i have some ribs would you like to eat some and <laughs> come give me head someone's gonna say yes you know what I mean? I'm and like, I didn't know you could be that honest. <laughs> I didn't know this existed. Like, I'm like, did he just tweet that he ordered Chinese food and he'd also like <laughs> And then just get 3,000 retweets? Asking to drop a location? Like, you, I know. You, it is really funny to get famous in just... Like, I'm not actually famous, but I'm famous in the exact niche way where the most... Uh, like, I've talked about this before. It's like, I got famous in... I got podcast and internet famous, which yeah. is where a lot of mentally ill women that will just fuck you exist. You right, know what that, I mean? I mean that's like, probably, yeah, that's probably like the best way to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's a lot better than a Tonight Show. Yeah, for sure. Uh, old I mean, bitches. I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. It's like old women. I old married to... women in Minnesota <laughs> telling me, when are you coming to Minnesota? <laughs> yeah. And then I go and they don't go. Yeah, yeah. They forgot. <laughs> yeah, they forgot yeah, who yeah, I was. Yeah. But yeah, you got that internet um, thing. And there's like an anonymity to the internet, but yet a... Uh, it's personal, but yet sure. anonymous. Sure. So, yeah, so, yeah. so that works. But I was, who was I? I think I was having a, a conversation with Mark Norman about it because, like, Mark was telling me how, like, Seinfeld loves Bernie Mac because he was like, Seinfeld mm. says, like, Bernie Mac is like who he is, like, of on course. everything. Like, the yeah. outfit matches the voice, the of voice course. matches the act. Like, and he's yeah. like, he was this loud, loud thing. And I'm like, I feel that about you. I feel like <laughs> you are 100% who you are. Where, like, the track suits match <laughs> yeah. the act. Of the, course. The I appreciate haircut, that. The yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Everything like, like uh, works yeah yeah you got it yeah i mean that's and that is before we even get to the advice portion that is hugely that's the best thing that's ever happened to me which i'm just like yeah i'm just gonna be exactly who the fuck i am who cares <laughs> but it's so i mean do everyone should anyone, do that you think anyone could do that i look here's the here's the catch you have it, a charm right? there's a charm to you yeah, absolutely like there is a catch to it where it's like yeah i also have her worked really hard like because what people think about that is like just be a slob and let yourself go and like, yeah, and it's like it's, it's like not it's that. not that it's, it's not like that. you have to also you have to care about putting the best version of you out there. Yeah, you can't just there's a version of me that wears a fuck. It's not it's like a shitty tracksuit that's stained with fucking Chinese food. Yeah, I haven't exercised in two weeks. Yeah, you can't I feel be like shit. You know, like and I haven't worked on my. You know, I'm depressed because I've been fucked up too long. And mm -hmm. it's like, but there's also the version of you that's like, yeah, I'm, I'm even if I'm not working out to actively like lose a ton of weight i feel better i'm uh, you know my my energy's up i've been working on comedy i'm sharper i'm yeah. performing so yeah. i'm like i've talked to a lot of people so i'm socially engaged it's like you got to be the best version of you right it's not about just letting things out and letting things go yeah it's like, you're also you're also like innately a good time sure like, i'm a you're, you're fun you're, I'm you're, fun. you're, you're yeah, one of those yeah, people yeah. that like i imagine like in high school like when you walked into the classroom it was like all right we're about <laughs> yeah, to have yeah, fun yeah. Stop, i did coming. there was a lot of like it's funny to look back on when i thought i was just like a kind of a fucking like I was like, I thought people liked me, and I was like a little bit of a nerd, even because I was, you know, I was, you know, I was, I was like, I did take school seriously a little bit, and then it's like, oh, I guess I was like, kind of like a complete clown and bully. Like I was yeah. like fully, yeah. like everyone's having a good time, but it might be at somebody's expense. Like, yeah, I was, people, I was that for a while too. People, like, I go back and I see people like I grew up with. I'm like, what's up, dude? And they're like. 
um, you tortured me in lunch class. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, we were having a good time. <laughs> and it's like, yeah. oh, I guess yeah. I can see that in yeah. hindsight. What, what, what but also, I wasn't getting pussy in high school because it was like, I was... I wasn't either. Yeah. I was self-conscious. And I think like... And that's, that's, that's also, I think, how... Like, why incels are... Neg- the, the, there's a negativity to that. It's like, you don't if you don't release... If there's not that pressure valve of release... Of like getting pussy, you yeah. turn mean. Yeah, and I think that's mean, what it yeah, was because it was like because yeah. I had the same like I was the same guy where I was like fun and I was like, but I turned it on. I I I was hurt and I was like, let's hurt somebody yeah, else. Yeah, sure, well, hurt people, hurt people. Exactly, because right? it's not because you can't feel better because you don't. Yeah, you you feel like you have all this like depression and all this yeah. kind of shit when you're like you know. I spoke about this on other things because like with incels, like because you you if you've seen the special, you understand that like. I'm, I'm, first of all, I, I feel like I'm making fun of like both sides. Like I'm making fun yeah. of women and I'm also making fun of men. Right. And like, I feel like in some of the parts, maybe not in the special, but in some of the clips that they shared, it seemed like I was like making fun of men. So mm. like the incels, like not a lot. It was like sure, what, sure. maybe five out of like <laughs> yeah, thousands yeah, 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 yeah. were like, he's giving away this man. Clearly he's giving away all the man secrets. He right, wants right, to be right. a woman. And I'm like, hilarious. I'm the like, man oh, this, this special, like this special, you have to like get, like to understand the comedy, I've, not to understand, but like to relate to it at least. I feel like you have to be able, you have to sleep with women. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sexually. Uh, yeah, like it's yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, it's very yeah. heteronormative. Yeah, it's very and a lot of It's also, it's, it's very um, loser negative. <laughs> so if you don't, uh, it's I'm not like, loser positive. No, it's, not, it, it is about people who have gotten pussy, but there is also vulnerability into it because it's sure. like, yes. Because you are talking about, and something I did want to talk about, where it's like, yeah, it's like, damn, you can't, and it's kind of like those guys that go to the DR to yeah. still get put. It's like, they're so di- they've distilled what's disgusting about getting pussy, and it's like, the older you get, if you're still a guy who's just trying to get laid, because a part, a part of the special is like, yeah, it's fun to fuck around, and it's yeah. fun, but it's like, at a certain, you get to a certain point, and you're like... I kind of would like a real connection with someone. Sure. And there is a vulnerability there where it's sure. like, at a certain point, getting pussy stops being cool. Like, yeah. it's it's not hard anymore. And it's a sign of, almost of immaturity. Yeah. It's like, but it's still a drug, right? Absolutely. So it's like, you know that doing crack isn't good and of it's course. ruining your life. But those... But you, yeah. But every time a new... Th- <laughs> those 11 minutes that yeah. you're on crack, yeah. you're right. like... <laughs> right. So, yeah. So it's 100%. Yeah, that, I get it's that. Like, it's like... Not, not, I mean, obviously, I don't think I'm in, I don't, I'm not, I'm definitely not like a, a sex addict or anything sure, like that. Sure, I'm sure. definitely not because, you know, I'm cool without it for like yeah. long periods of time. But I'm saying like, you feel like, all right, I don't need this. But when it's offered, you still have that temptation. And I don't know for you, especially if like you're a fucking performer too. It's like, there is something to the like getting attention for, or getting like, uh, like positive reinforcement outside for you know what i mean it's of course. like it's like wh- just somebody wanting to fuck you it makes you feel good you're like oh really you want to fuck i me? mean that's you know? it that's even it, more that yeah more than no, like right. the sex that's why the like actual the busting yeah yeah yeah, yeah, the yeah, prostitution, yeah, yeah. And i'm like a big part of it for me is that you want to sleep <laughs> right, me. right 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 if right if you right. don't want to like exactly. we don't have to do this yes. you can go home in fact it feels really bad if right you don't want. it feels like how extremely bad yeah 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 if i just catch a vibe that like she like like I can't imagine just fucking somebody who's been trafficked. Like yeah. it's just like a girl who's just like nervous because she has to work in the morning I can't. and she wants like she's like she's having a good time, but she's like I gotta be up at six a.m. and that's on the back of her mind. That can ruin it for me. Let yeah. alone like my family is being held at gunpoint and I have to I have to make I have to make this pimp seven thousand dollars before I'll be released <laughs> like that. And the, and the guy's like woo. Fucking me and my accountant buddies are at the DR. Yeah, <laughs> we're fucking yeah. Me, me. I mean, I guess we're similar in that way. Like me and those guys, those type of guys that can live that way. We have, we don't have anything in common. Right, when it right, comes, right. When it comes to that, like absolutely. I, but I think it comes from like, it's also like from a place of like, if you don't struggle to to meet people, then you tend to be more relaxed about it, right? And sure. you tend to want situations to be cool. Yeah. I mean, if I didn't, if I struggled to meet, I might be at of the Of course, DR, you, you never know? know, you never right. know. So that's interesting though, because you said you weren't, you were also kind of in that like, taking it out on in high school, not getting any pussy, 
Yeah, that I mean, was. I was, I was never, I was never, even when I was like, I just wasn't having. I was like a small dude. Like right, uh, I was right, like, right. I was like five one <laughs> yeah, freshman year, yeah. freshman year of. Uh, you grew up in Queens. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Freshman yeah. year of high school, but I, you know, I, I by the time I graduated, I was like, you know, I grew a little taller. Five two and a half. Yeah, five yeah. three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Five, nah. Now I'm like, I'm like five six, five seven, but I, yeah. I like. But then I was also skinny. Like, I was just right, a small right, dude. Right, like, right, right. it's one thing. You could be 5'3 and big, and then you're sure. like a big guy. But, like, I was just a small five, dude. 5'3 and, yeah. and big is tough, too, yeah. brother. I, That's I mean, like a little. But at least you, you're of course. a presence. You're, in a, in a lot of ways, people look at you like almost like. You're like a little kid, a little kid, you know, right, Cause right. It's, especially in high school. Especially in high school, it's yeah. such a, it's such yeah. a like uh, yeah. spectrum, right, right. You're like if you're a skinny five, five one, it's like, yeah. um, and there's like a guy who's like bench pressing. Well, that's the you thing. know the I linebacker. To, my high school was like a basketball powerhouse school. Oh, so hilarious. Like some of the big like these what guys, school Christ the King. Oh, holy shit! Yeah, 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 yeah. damn. Like when I was there, like we won a state championship. We won. We were ranked. Like, hilarious. Some of the like who was, was who was there? Do you remember any? My, were there any the players? players? Yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, my year was Irvin Walker, Ryan okay. Peterson. Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, Malik Booth. Uh, yeah. Those were like Ra- Irvin went on to play for Florida. Yeah. Ryan went on to play for so George D1, Mason. So D one, we're talking. We're talking NBA. I mean, Kemba Kemba Walker. Was, he played Christ for Rice. Yeah, he yeah, played yeah. for Rice, so he was like our biggest competitor. Yeah. So these was like NBA players. Silver Landisberg. I think Silver went on to play for. Is it, isn't Mellow's? Isn't Mellow's? Mellow's son, son goes there now. Goes yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. They're, they're ranked this year. So I say all that to so say. So you're five one, and there's kids that are like playing in the NCAA, like just like a, a six eight power forward at that same school. Yeah. With <laughs> yeah. ESPN, <laughs> Tina Charles was there when I was yeah. there. She won. Holy she won shit. Gatorade Player of the Year. <laughs> she was the best. And you're shopping at Gap for kids. <laughs> She you're was, trying to get pussy with a little dinosaur on your shirt. <laughs> right, right. She was like, she's like one of the best basketball players ever. Yes, yes. She was there when I was there. Like, he, it was like, just yeah, being yeah, cameras following her around. Lamar yeah. Odom was coming by with, with <laughs> Khloe Kardashian. <laughs> Seriously, you would see them in the hallway. Like, And I'm 5'1", like, hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, you you yeah, want to yeah. hear something funny that yeah. happened to me? <laughs> Yeah, but then I got a girlfriend. I got a girlfriend senior oh, year, nice. and like I grew, I grew like kind of into. I was sure. growing. I kind of grew into yeah. my body, and I got a girlfriend, and, and I was just with her. Like, yeah. we were just like, and you're also a charming guy. You figured it out. Yeah. You know so, I mean? so Funny. I say that to like I was never miserable because I was always like I was fairly well liked. Yeah. Like, people liked me, and I did date. Like I had girlfriends. Yeah. I just wasn't like sexually course, active. Course, but like I had course. girls, and like we would, I would date, and girls yeah. liked me, and I liked girls. You um, go see, you go see little movies and shit. Yeah, you little split appetizer like at Chili's. Right. You know, for sure. There was yeah. literally a Chili's yeah. that everyone hung out with a couple blocks away. Yeah. So we would do that. But it wasn't until college where, like, and I went away, like, to dorm. Where'd you where go? I went to SUNY or Westbury. It's right okay. in Long Island. But that was when I was like, all right, like, girls. That's funny. I did a similar thing where it's like, I mean, you went further away. But Queens wow. to Long Island is not that far. It was 40 minutes. Dude, I went to school 20 minutes away because. And dormed? And dorm because I got a I got a scholarship. Oh, okay. And it was the I only paid. it was the thanks, only school. Thanks, Biden. He yeah. He oh, yeah. That for me. <laughs> Shout out to Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Um, nah, but yeah, that, that's like the the thing. So I I, I say like I wasn't never like. I, I used to make fun of people because I used to think like we were all in on. Like I used to be like, oh, it's fun. I had no perspective of like, no, you're hurting people's right, feelings. Right, so right, 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 like, right. What up, right. you fat bold <laughs> bastard? And why did you? Were, I'm sorry. Why'd you pick those two? <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. There were some high school kids that were fat and bald, huh? <laughs> Clearly, that must be what you're referring to right now. <laughs> no, I, I would have picked maybe some, maybe with braces or maybe acne, but I, I don't know a lot of <laughs> some get for some reason that just kind of came to your head, huh? <laughs> Eldest, what the fuck are you laughing about over there? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm sure you did the same thing. Of like, course, of people course. Make fun of, like, you yeah. make fun of me like you little bastard. Yeah, and you're like, yeah, why yeah. are you being mean? Like, yeah. You just walked into the cafeteria of being course, mean. Of course, of course. But but now, like, I don't even find humor in that. Like, I don't even, like... Yeah, because like, you see it. You see what it's doing to the other person. Right. And you have like, enough perspective. I don't perspective. like battles. Like, yeah. I, into, I like to watch them. I think they're fun. But, like, I don't like being a part of them. Of like, course. Especially, like, they'll get two friends. They'll be like, oh, you and Styros are friends. You should battle each other. I'm like, I don't want to hurt my friend's right. feelings. Like, well, to me, it's like... I think at least the friend thing, if you have that kind it's of better. relationship, it's better. It's fun because it's like it is it fun is to better, just yeah. to like because you ultimately know there is no. Yeah, it's kind of a game to say the most fucked up thing to somebody you truly care about. Yeah, but I also don't want to say fucked up shit. To and you. I get that, but but roast battle has gotten out of, got no, out of control. Out of where it's like these people are strangers. 
And they're like, oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Your brother got molested and your yeah. mom's in hell <laughs> crying about it. Uh, yeah, and which, it's like, we've never met. Right. It's like, <laughs> like, why are you saying this? Dude, to me? It, it's gotten to the point where it's just so, I, I'm like, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, yeah. I mean, coming like from like, I'm like Hispanic, but black. You know, sure. like they they don't roast like that. No, no like they'll no. make fun of your shoes, but of you don't course. bring up a child molestation. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> you don't bring up a molestation of at course. the lunch table. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> you know? Yeah, absolutely. You couldn't do that. You would disrupt too much of the Dominican Republic's economy yeah. if you brought up molestation. <laughs> Like, fuck, dude. That is, yeah, that is so fucking funny. So, um, yeah, and then you were, so, okay, Long Island, that's fun. And then you're, but that's, that is also another thing of, like, whatever you're, you were just, you just became, you came into yourself a little bit, and you were, like, yeah. just charming, and you've learned how to talk to people. And that's a good, that's a good route, too. If you're, like, a, if you're someone who lacks a little confidence, and you're, like, you know, you have a little, you know, you were a short kid, scrawny, whatever, it's, like, yeah, find somebody make because that seemed to be your thing get a relationship going actually talk to the person be nice to like a girl yeah and like figure it out from there and sure. that's and that's my, that's a girl, really good my high know. school girl like she was she was beautiful too she was like yeah. a pretty girl that nice. like she was a pretty girl who like dressed nice and everyone thought was cool so when i like when me and her got together like people loved it because yeah, people yeah, loved yeah. me and they of loved course, her and they were course. like this is, this they is were rooting great. for you they're the yeah. mascot but that is a good that's a good i feel like that's probably going to come up in our in our uh questions but so that's it so are you and i want to go back to the idea in the special about like the vulnerability and being done with dating and all that stuff it's like or do you really feel that way about wanting to like stop dating and actually get into a relationship is that where I you're mean, at in your life again i'm embellishing like to i'm sure embellishing to no no but funny. that's i get it but i just mean like is that because i gotta be honest for me i am sort of starting to feel I that am, a little bit i am but i mean you can attest to this the you work so hard to get to a point yeah. to get the train moving yeah. And once that train takes off, it yeah. starts moving so fast yeah, career wise yeah, 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 yeah. that you almost be like, whoa, 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 I have totally. to I have to step back. So like my last uh, few uh, relationships or people that we, you know, my last few relationships, it's like it comes to a point where I'm just like, I like her and she likes me, but I'm like, I have no time. No, I feel like that. I don't have time. But see, I also think that because this is what happened to me earlier this year, because yeah. I said that to myself and I was like, I don't have time. And so I didn't even consider trying to be in a serious relationship and then you know i would see you see people casually you let them know i don't have time and then one person and most of the time those girls are like hey like this isn't working you're like thank you very much really yeah. appreciate everything you. you've done yeah. around here yeah. you know like we yeah. you know appreciate what, you, appreciate what you've done the last four months you really made the you know you really made this a nice time uh and then but then somebody breaks up with you or like gets a boyfriend or whatever and you just can't you're like oh wait i liked her yeah and now i'm just sad yeah you know and it's yeah. like and then you're like so that's i'm coming to this realization where it's like and i'm talking about this shit in therapy too all this kind of shit where it's like at a certain point it just is your life yeah and there is no when this slows down because yeah. it might never slow down it, it might, might never be, slow down and, yeah. and it might be like it's like that's an excuse you're saying and it's like you have to figure out how to do it within this yeah i'm thinking about that thing with my health too where i'm like I, I I was like, dude, I just need to get my I'm gonna get off the road and like really hit my health yeah. hard. And I did that last I got off the road, I took like eight weeks and it was really good for me. But then it's like I've been on the road fucking four months after that and it's like I'm healthier than I would have been if I hadn't done that, but that's not enough. Yeah. I have to think about how to do it while, while I'm on I'm the road. It, yeah. You know, and it's like I So that's feel like, what I'm thinking that. That's what I'm <clears> That's what I'm thinking, the same thing with relationships yeah. where it's like there's never going to be... That's where I'm at. But it's not me. It's not like I don't want to work on it. I just start, like, I start feeling so guilty for the girl. Right, because right, they right. come in so, like, bright-eyed and there for you. And yeah, then yeah, once yeah. they see what it really is, of like, course. you can tell they, they're, like, they're thing being broken down of like right. you're like so, sorry i'm in fucking kenosha right i can't exactly. come i can't come to your uh sister's graduation right, exactly I have to, I have to, we added a sunday in kenosha yeah i can't come to your graduation <laughs> yeah 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 we added a sunday and then, uh, like, you'll get you another master's well? no. yeah, 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 yeah 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 but i have to do it <laughs> i sold bad yeah, yeah, but, i sold bad no one I picked up got a tag. I had, yeah i had to check out i had to check merch no one bought it i had to check <laughs> i actually lost 40 dollars checking my merch back 
back. But <laughs> hey, tell your sister I'm happy the baby's healthy. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like that. <laughs> I heard the baptism went well on Instagram. Yeah, I'll, yeah, a, yeah. I'll wave the cameo fee. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, no, that but shit no, it's, sucks. It's the thing. So I'm at I'm at that point where I'm like, I got you. I I I try and I want to be, but like, I, I, you reach a point where you just start feeling so selfish, and totally. I hate to feel that way. So like, when I start feeling that, I kind of be like, hey, this is like, this is not working for you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> like it's working course. for me. <laughs> yeah, this is cool for me. Yeah, this is yeah. not working for you. Interesting. Have yeah. you had any ones where you're like, I wish I could have gotten that one back. Wish I could have made it work. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I okay. had, I had, a, I had, uh, I had a girlfriend where I was like, the, you know, the, like everything was, everything was right except my career. Yeah. yeah. Would you though? But knowing now, with this perspective that you have now, would you have been like, can we have, could we have figured it out? Are you just saying? Well, I think because I think I think because of what my like my lifestyle ruined. What it could gotcha, have been. Gotcha, gotcha. I see, I see. So, so by, it's not by the, life, I mean, like, my unavailability. I see. You, you, so you she ended up changing. I see, I see. And you also gave it a try within the within the parameters of your career, but the career was just too much. Because, like, for me, the problem is, like, I almost use that as an excuse not to get close enough to someone. I do, too, yeah. And then I'm like, and then I'm like well, I could have seen her a little more. Like, I could have been too. a little more. But then it's like, you need just, like, dude, like you said, you're on the road. Like, you come back, and it's like, sure, you can do a date night if you if you really want to. You can. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, I, I, but I also would like a night off. Like, sure, just sure. rest. Like, I kind of want to be with my thoughts like, yeah, by yeah, myself. Yeah. I, yeah. You, know, you didn't like her that much. That's not, but that, <laughs> yeah. that's what they said. It's like, no, I do. Yeah, yeah, I do yeah, like yeah, her. Yeah. I enjoy being it, but it's like. I need the I time feel you. to myself. Yeah. And when I need I, time to write and you need time. I mean, you're doing yeah. producing and Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, directing. it's a lot. It is a lot of shit. And it's also like But I understand. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. There is there is something where I'm just like I, at the end of the day all of that is a little bullshit though. Is it? It is a little bit cuz if it is the kind of thing what we were just talking about, this is just how life's going to be and we got to figure it out. And maybe that maybe that's a little bit of finding somebody that's more compatible maybe yeah. that's the problem well that's the thing i feel like you get enough you get to a point in your career you get enough freedom where right. things get easier so it's like and you sure you might always schedule a little yeah, more you might always yeah, get yeah. busy but if like if you're at the point in your career where you can like fly your lady out with <laughs> yeah you right, right going right, to right, the, this right. thing and you can take and you're only a going to good off. cities yeah and yeah, you're not yeah, doing yeah. Kenosha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry you're, to Kenosha, you're, but you can it take sucks. A, yeah. You can take it to Hawaii. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, take, yeah, and it's, yeah. And it's yeah, like, yeah. that. then it's like, all right, well. I see, yeah, yeah. I got you. I, yeah. No, I get that, dude. Um, and also, I mean, like, it would be nice to, like, come off the road and be married, have a, somebody, like a family to come home to. I, real, I literally have reinvented, like, I was coming home off the road, and I'd been on the road so many times, and you come home to an apartment that's like, there's no food in the house. It's nope. a little messy because yep. you were packing, you yep. know, last minute. And I was like, hey, it'd be kind of nice if, um, yep. I was like, damn, it'd be nice if I got back and like, maybe somebody was like, and there was food ready the, and, and, and the and apartment was clean. To you? Yeah, yeah. And I realized, and I was like, and you know what? I'm making enough money now. Yeah. They wouldn't even have to pay rent. Yeah. And I was like, and you know what? It'd be kind of cool if it was like a girl I was dating because I could, we could just fall. It would be great. Like, I was like, I, well, I, was, I got some and then girls I was in like, DR for you. That yeah. Are, <laughs> funny you well, that's funny that, you said that. $75 you could spare. <laughs> well, that's what I realized. I reinvented a well, wife. I was like, I was like, what I want is a you made, wife. You made, like, just it was something backwards. different. Yeah. Exactly. I just like, each step of the way, I was like, because at first I was like, maybe I could have a friend, my roommate. And then I was like, a roommate. It should be a girl that I like. And yeah. we could. F and then I was like, 100% we're just describing a 50s a, housewife. A family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah. I, should go to, I should go to the yard, but for marriage, not for sex tourism. Let me put that out there very clear right now, everyone. <laughs> um, that would be a nice foreign wife. That's not a bad. Yeah. That's not a bad look. Yeah. Now, maybe you, you ever think You'll about going back? Go getting yourself a little straight from the DR. I, I thought girlfriend. about. I had a from, oh, you yeah. did. Yeah, who was on there? Yeah. I thought about getting like just going to Greece and being like, just let me get a fucking straight Everybody from the right. motherland, girl. That'd be nice, right? You don't got to worry about rights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're still rights. out. You're yeah. still out the fucking in Greece. <laughs> you're still out the fucking. <laughs> Elvis, you never had an Albanian girlfriend, did you? No, I haven't. Never. I, I always like want. I, I always want to stay away from it. I was like, makes sense. I just feel like I have this Albanian family at home. Yeah, it feels like a lot. It just yeah. always felt a little disconnected or something. Of course, we didn't get into any. Well, we were talking about the DR in Greece. We didn't get into your trips to Albania. This I know you were oh, fucking. God. 
I know you were sharing a room with a goat at some point in your fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, <laughs> no, I just I remember when we went to Albania in the sixties, like you couldn't even shit on the toilet, like it was just holes in the ground. In the nineties, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is the sixties? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. It's like, yeah. It like in the nineties. I mean, yeah, just dirt yeah, roads same. everywhere. Yeah, like yeah. you're yeah. sleeping with your. I mean, back then we were young, but you know, even when I went like the last few years, like. You know, my cousins are fucking grown men, and they're still sleeping in that childhood bedroom. <laughs> yeah, and dude. Two in a it's, two in it's a bedroom. Like you're sh- yeah, you're sharing one of the beds with one of them. <laughs> yeah. And guess what? If it's summer, you're fucked. Like <laughs> yeah. you just got that ceiling fan. There's yeah. no AC. Oh, yeah. sounds mean, horrible. I remember in Albania when we went in like '96. I was seven years old. I saw my fucking uncle like cut a chicken's head off in the backyard <laughs> for dinner and I like didn't eat any meat that whole trip and I remember like me and the fucking like neighborhood fucking kids like would go out back and they would be like spitting on the chicken heads and <laughs> throwing them at the <laughs> at the build like at the yeah. wall yeah no, the so the thing, I saw them I went to the market like the street market I saw them kill a chicken with the hand like, <laughs> and ring it like you ring the chicken's then, neck oh yeah, my and that's god how you kill it yeah. yeah I remember going to going on vacation in this little fucking hick greek village like it was a little village and then you would go down the road and it was like a nice little you know beach and and it was it was kind of like a lower middle class vacation town and that's the nice thing about greece like even the shitty ones are better the shittiest greek beach i've ever been to is like better than like malibu like the best you know you know and so and so it's like this little lower middle class town and i remember these kids like we would play soccer and the most exciting thing that ever happened it was like these two dogs got caught fucking <laughs> and they were and every kid in the na- in the fucking village like ah and they were like throwing rocks at the yeah, dogs yeah, and they yeah, were just yeah. chasing them these dogs fucking and moving and like kids yeah. and i remember i showed these kids a dollar and they were like oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, like a euro was more money yeah, at yeah. the time, and they're like, I tr- yeah, I traded them like one dollar for five euros. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh, it was fucking great. But why don't we take some of this immigrant expertise, some of this fucking little guy who still managed to get pussy expertise, <laughs> and show it to our fucking and uh, and get it with our callers here because I, I got a call that's a perfect segue. I here. love it. I love it. Let's hear it. You motherfucker. <laughs> hey, stop. So, I'm 15, and <laughs> you already know the trajectory of my life is I'm 15 and a fan of yours. Um, but here's my problem. Um, me and my ex-girlfriend broke up like six months ago. Oh, this, this kid is broken and, up. You know, like we talked a little bit, but not really after that. And today she texted me and was like, I want you back, yada, yada, yada. Okay. I'm so mu- very much attracted to you. I want to try again. And I told her, like, no, I want to, I, I've moved on. Wow. But I don't know. Now I'm questioning it because I feel like this is the only woman that's ever going to love me. I'm sorry. Play it again, Alice. I was uh, laughing too much at that me. statement. Yeah. I don't know. Now I'm questioning it because I feel like this is the only woman that's ever gonna love me, <clears throat> and um, she's got big old titties. So <laughs> I don't well, know that now I understand. Okay, I now you're it. talking yeah. some sense. Yeah, finally, now he's speaking our language. You might find you'll find other women who love With you the titties if she does have big ass titties. <laughs> I know that's that's rare. Honestly, no joke. There are more women have loved me than. No, that's not the more. Not every woman who's loved me has had big ass titties. I'll put no, it that way. No, but a couple a have. Couple have yeah. Yeah, and the, those were they, beautiful they, you times. Count, you can count them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I understand, I understand what he means. <laughs> we see where you're coming from, buddy. You, you don't know when that next one's coming. Yeah. Although, you know, they might have had a big old ass, and that was pretty nice. too. That's nice too. The first girl that I loved that had didn't have big titties had a huge ass, and I was like, I was always just straight titties at that point in my life, and I was like. No, these are actually all awesome. big ass is cool too. Big it ass turns is cool out. too. So okay, yeah. buddy. Well, look, we got we got good news for you. Um, I, we're missing like you're clearly you know he's fifteen, not a good storyteller. You've left so much detail. Why why did you break up? What happened here? He said 
Me and my ex-girlfriend broke up, so we don't even know who broke up with who. It says he doesn't want to be with her, I think, though. It seems like, but is it because she did something fucked up to him? Because I remember that. I remember I had a girlfriend who I, like, you know, I made out with her a couple times. I touched her tits a couple times in, like, when I was 15. And I remember she called me. <laughs> she called me one time. She was, like, crying. She was like... I accidentally got fingered last night. <laughs> it's like, oh, really? It was a real big accident, huh? <laughs> it was like, like the but fuck you know are we talking say? about? I, I remember there was this couple. There was this couple in high school that dated. That they're my friends. I love them. And they, like they used to have a lot of like every week somebody would cheat on the other one and they would break up and fight. And now they're like married with like a beautiful family. <laughs> <laughs> so, listen, man, just take her back. Even yeah, if she yeah. got fingered the night before, yeah. just take her back. You never know. You're only 15. People get older and mature. I will say this. He is only 15. And um, mo we were just talking about how we didn't get any pussy in high school. Yeah, and he's getting big titty love. You're getting big titty love pussy. You're not as charming or entertaining sure. as us. It's not even your, close. I can hear it in your voice. So, so I can hear it your voice. It's, it's not even close. <laughs> yeah. So honestly, if nothing bad happened, and you have these strong emotions towards her, you're young. If it, if you're even on the fence, and she wants to be with you, and her titties are big, and her titties are big, and there's nothing toxic, there's nothing bad, you know. Get in there. Fuck it. Who cares? Yeah, what do you have to lose? Give it another try. This very well... Here's the thing you don't want to know. This could be the hottest woman you fuck in your in whole your life. life. <laughs> At 15. You want to be that guy? I was talking to then some... Then you'll be leaving comments under my special... <laughs> yeah. About how much you hate it. You don't want to be that guy. I was talking to a guy. I was doing crowd work. I was in Toronto, and I did crowd work with this guy, and he told me that the first girl, his, his high school girlfriend was like this girl who was like um, a really... She was like a... She she's like a like a prodig a science prodigy, mm -hmm. who like now is Sounds like some hot. kind of some but like you know you 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 ever you remember there was like there's a subset of girl yeah. that was Smart like good at everything yeah. Like just in, the, in elementary school and junior high school exactly sure. and they were they were like not only smart as shit but they were like free they would like party yeah they were athletic free, athletic they <laughs> yeah. were freaks yeah and he was like yeah she was all pregnant now with, yeah, 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 with yeah six yeah. kids and divorce yeah, either that or they're like at the top of industry yeah, you know yeah, what i mean yeah, like yeah. they are just like they have it all certain yeah. people do that some people have that and yeah. if you catch them in high school where they don't know how valuable they are yeah you, some of some guys get lucky and get to date them in high school like that picture of that guy who went to prom with beyonce yeah and it's like that motherfucker had no idea what it was going what on. i'd argue that i'd argue that that's the time for them to mainly attack because women the more successful they get they yes. out like success their, exactly. their pool like right, right. the pool gets smaller for them absolutely absolutely so I, so that guy he did and then the second girl he dated after that was a fucking ch Raptors cheerleader <laughs> he dated them back to back and and, it and, they, and then it's like he'll, it'll never get better for that no. guy and it's possible my friend that it never gets better for you yes now we don't know that you didn't give us enough backstory but Get in there. She's, yeah, go ahead. You man. feel you clearly feel something. She has big ass titties. That's like a big <laughs> point for me. It's a big point for me as well, my friend. That's <laughs> yeah. the kind of show this is. Yeah. Um. Uh. But, and look, call back if you want. Give us if we're missing some context. Please, you call know, in. call in, fill yeah. in. But it feels like you want to, and you're just asking us for our blessing. You have mine. You have you have mine as well, Eldis. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, you great. You can't leave the titties on the table. <laughs> three, three guys that haven't even seen a picture of this girl. <laughs> and we won't. And we won't. She's 50. It, it's, we don't have to get into any yeah. more specifics. Right. Yeah. We're, we are not general. attracted to her. Let's put that. Let's get I'm that in for there. for you. For you. Okay. Let's make that for, you know, just we are not. That is not. We are not into her no. at all. We are into the concept of big titties on women our age. Our age. And I'm just imagining if I was your age. If I, exactly. If, when I was 15... If a girl, I mean, if any girl was nice, you know, you know. Anyway, we 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 were we we've covered it. Yeah, you're in there, buddy. Let us know how it goes. Let us know if we're missing something. Um, I'll just go ahead and play us another another call, my friend. You want to know something crazy? Hey, I've stop. never. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. I've never hooked up with a girl under eighteen. Even when oh, I was yeah, under 18. Oh, yeah, because you Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've always <laughs> been legal. Of course. You, it's always been legal. There's, yeah. You'll never get caught. Like, one of the saddest things that ever happens is, like, somebody will be... Uh, will have a picture they took of their own dick when they were, like, 15 to sex when they were in high school. You can get arrested for, like, 
child pornography. Oh, you can? If you send that. I've, I've, so I've at least seen that on the internet. Who knows? If it's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you keep pictures of your 5'1 penis. I can't even imagine how little your shit was in ninth grade. <laughs> You show it to women as a before. You think this is small, bitch. Look what it looked like in ninth grade. Not only that, I got circumcised sophomore year. What? <laughs> sophomore, year. Oh. sophomore year of high what school. What the fuck? Yeah. What? We're a strong. We were a strong uncircumcised podcast, podcast? here. Um, yeah. Oh, our immigrant I'm, brother, dude. You you stabbed us both yeah, in the heart know, right now. I know. My what happened? Why? It. I'll be honest with you. I just didn't like how it looked. Wow. It was a cosmetic. Yeah. It was a cosmetic. It was a, a cosmetic, cosmetic circumcision in, in ninth grade. Yeah. I didn't like how it looked. Oh my god. Because I played on a basketball team. <laughs> And then you 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 know wow. you're high school boys like you gotta shower together and then you start to see how others look and I'm like mine don't look like that I want wow. <laughs> so I did it and then now I started a movement of like immigrants no. getting circumcised then Dude, no lie you gotta like, leave like fifteen <laughs> you what like, like fifteen came after me oh like, my like, circumcised. god I, I normalized it in you're my high breaking school. our hearts right now dude you're I'm sorry <laughs> man I've said too much we're an uncut podcast here at, at Stavi's Pr- world proudly uncut <laughs> proudly uncut they tried. To to circumcise me and I said no. You ran out the door. I was like, how dare you, sir? Ian, was, Ian, was, the, was the recovery brutal? Like, no, it's not bad. It's honestly really? 10 days. Stop with this propaganda. Wow. 10 days. Don't listen, listen to him. If you're, if a, if you're, doctor, if you're not circumcised, we'll come it's horrible. Your penis is mutilated. Me. Don't listen to this man. We'll send a guy in a van to your house. And Eldest, <laughs> what, don't tell me you're thinking about it. I'm going to start crying. I can't. I felt, I, felt like, I felt like so backstabbed when I found out my dad wasn't circumcised. Wow. Like, or was he, circumcised? He he, no, he, no, no. He w- he got circumcised. Oh, yeah. I always assumed he what? was. Dude, it's a good move. He got fucking Stop circumcised. It. I mean, the when? crazy thing is, he got circumcised in like communist Albania when he was like 14 years old. He told me you can't even. He was like, know someone for that. Yeah, you yeah, even, yeah, yeah, you yeah, gotta yeah. know government officials. He's, he's standing that. in the circumcision line. He's <laughs> you gotta know like bre- a high-ranking government yeah. official. <laughs> They're like bread or circumcision this month. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll take I'll take the clipping. <laughs> That was really crazy to me. Oh my god, dude, yeah, that's right. wild. I, that was a. Betrayal. You never saw your father's penis. You never know. You never saw it. I feel like I saw. I must have seen it like when I was a kid or something at some point. But, but it didn't register. Yeah, I just didn't realize wow. it. Or maybe it was dude, that's why your bond was it never was that strong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, this. This explains a lot. <laughs> Why there's just not that unspoken uh, bond between me and my dad. What were you saying? I'm saying not. It's great. Like, consider it. Dude, shut the fuck I'm up. Sorry, I'm sorry. Don't Go listen ahead. to this man. He's trying to fucking. He's trying Straight to. Propaganda. Yeah, he's trying. He's trying to. By he's big trying to get circumcision. Big I'm circumcision. Big dude. circumcision. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. What's so funny is this: is how fucking Greek people. I mean, for you know. Eastern Europe, they're they're not exactly progressive when it comes to they're, no. they're they're um I'd say they've got some Kanye West style views. Sure, <laughs> you know, sure. they've got some Kyrie Irving uh, Amazon documentary style sure. views. And when I so I went to the urologist for a different problem, and the guy like I was pissing when I was like you know twenty or whatever I was pissing too much, and he was like um and you know they fixed that whatever, but the guy was also like hey you're you know your foreskin's a little tight you might you, you I should, have tight foreskin okay no, that, no that makes sense you you should consider getting circumcised, and I I kind of at the time I wasn't as staunch. In my anti stance as I am now. Well, now you got the merch, so you can't. Of course, no, <laughs> you got I the can't. Circumcised. Of course, of course. Anti circumcised yeah. merch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got scarfs that look like a <laughs> that look like a foreskin. The next yeah, part, yeah. They come up to here. <laughs> I've like got this. four thousand of those. I got to move <laughs> before I change any of my fucking views. <laughs> um, but. Uh, and I told my dad, I was like, I was like, yeah, dad. Uh, yeah. I was like, I was just telling my family and he was like, my doc, my father who has never asked any follow up questions about okay. a doctor in his life. He was like, is this doctor Jewish? <laughs> and my dad, my dad thought that Jewish people had an interest in circumcising everyone. To, that it was like, like it's, bit, it's like, what do they gain from that? What is this man? You, you get circumcised now. You're Jewish. Yeah, exactly. Like what? <laughs> what? In what world does that benefit Jewish people? If my dick is clipped, it was just so fucking. Just shows you how he fucking views the world. But anyway, folks, don't get circumcised. Stay, stay natural. 
Don't let don't let America don't let America take what's beautiful about your culture and your penis. This man is an assimilator. <laughs> Unlike me and Eldis, we stay strong to our roots. <laughs> All right, play the next one, LD. Hey, Stav. My name is Mark. Um, I had a quick question that I was hoping to get some advice on. Um, so I've been wanting to plan like a, a boys trip for me and the boys to go mm. out to a little tropical location, Uh-oh. you know. Uh, <laughs> and it's been, been tried to get set up multiple times, a couple times here, and kind of keeps getting stuck at a certain point. Uh with uh, one of the, my friends, girlfriends, mm. and I was kind of wondering what I should do about that. Um, obviously, it's not my place to get into their relationship and all that, but it's kind of a little bit annoying <laughs> that it keeps coming up like this. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. Let me know. Thanks. Interesting. So, you are trying to get a boy's trip going, and your friend's girlfriend is bas- is basically putting the brakes on it from his perspective. I would like how old, I think the age matters. Age does this, matter. On this. Did, it's true, because if, if they have children, you know what right, I mean? Like yeah, that's, if there's, this is 40-year-old men. Right, right, right. Like my right. girlfriend is getting in the way. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, but this 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 guy, sound, if I had to guess, he's kind of in that in-between zone where it's like right out of college. Early 20s, yeah. Exactly, right out of college, not quite adulthood. Yeah. His friend might be a little further down adulthood. Yeah. And that, he might have a serious girlfriend or he could be the same age and she's a dumb bitch or, or she's also knows maybe his friend is a piece of shit. Maybe, they're, maybe she knows her boyfriend wants to go have a DR-style tropical vacation and Listen. she's afraid, you know what I mean? Listen, five men go on vacation (laughs) to a tropical destination. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, you're right. Some not chill is happening. Something not. I don't know what it is. I'm not saying they're cheating. Something that some weird is going to happen. Not conducive to a healthy relationship. Of course, he's going to get fucked. Yeah, he's going to do some kind of drug. Something. Something. He's he's going to watch his friend get sucked off, which will alter their relationship in some way. Like his friend. (laughs) Yeah, he might. He might. Yeah, he might come out like straight, but liking to watch men. And yeah, fuck right, <laughs> like yeah. something weird some kind of weird se- right. sexuality we don't even know about yet but why can't he just go without the guy if you got a girl you stay back now see that okay that is the natural answer to this but at the same time he wants his boy there he's losing he would be losing to this girlfriend yeah if that's the case you're gonna you know? lose to the girl though that's just I mean that's a good ultimate because in life ultimately you are gonna that is something that I have learned the hard way <laughs> Your best friends, you will lose them to their... The best you can hope for is that they date someone you like. That, and she likes you. And she likes you, exactly. Yeah. And that it works out. And that's happened and that's nice. This but, is the best case scenario because I have this. Okay. My friend's girlfriends think I'm the good influence. That's really good. That's the best case scenario. That is not like, the case for Why me. can't you be more like Ian? Yeah, why can't yeah, you yeah, hang yeah, out yeah. more with Ian? Right. That's beautiful. That's the that's the dream. No one thinks that about me. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> There's never <laughs> been a girlfriend. You think, you think it's the thong photos? And the, and the <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was bad before I actually... Like, it was bad before I could... I could conceive of, because I love your bit about how it's like, guys, guy, you don't want to get a relationship from a young guy if he's single, because it's like, yeah, the, right. like, what I want is to hang out with my boys. Right. I want them to be single so that we can hang out. Yeah. I think there's a little bit of that. I just like, um, and it's like, if I'm, even if it's not like, even if they're not afraid that they'll cheat or that we're going to have something crazy, it's like, I am a bad influence in that. We'll get really fucked up. We'll eat like shit. Yeah. We'll just have a good, good ass yeah, time. Yeah, even if we're just hanging here watching a game, like they won't answer your text. And exactly. You'll be mad at that because we're just having a good time. Yeah. Um. But you're right. You're at the end of the day. That actually is a very good lesson. That you're losing to the girlfriend, man. Yeah. There's nothing you There's can nothing do you about can do it. About it, man. Just get used to it. I'll be honest. You know what? You're so right. Yeah. Because I'm still, I I have learned that lesson, but. For him, I'm trying to I'm trying to live vicariously through him. I want him to win. Yeah. The answer is you're not gonna win. Nah. You're so right. If you it's have not to. This one, it'll be another one. <laughs> you're so right. Yeah. You exactly. Because ultimately, what we want, what you really do want, is to, f- and what you should want for your friend is to find a partner that does trump you. Yeah. If someone's dating somebody and they care about what you think more than 
uh, what their partner thinks, that's a bad relationship. Yeah. I don't want I don't want a wife who I, I listen to eldest more than my wife. <laughs> no. No, that's fucking brutal. No. And the vice so it's like this you're you're right. It's a good lesson to learn. Even if the girl and now it is possible though that this is a bad that's different. If you girlfriend. think the girl is no good for him. But truly no good for him. Not, not because she's fucking up your tropical yeah, not, vacation. Yeah, right, right, right. But even then, it's like, I found it doesn't matter. Like You'll still lose. You'll lo- but oh, you, have, you have a fight there. You, have, you at least have the right to say something. You have a fight, yeah. You have a fight. I found that no one listens to me because I'm too honest too quickly. Like, I'll just say, what the fuck are you doing here? Yeah. What are, you know what I mean? Like, I'm too honest, too. No one listens to me because they don't want to hear it. Yeah, like, they yeah, don't yeah, hear yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. So if you really do want to affect things, you have to be diplomatic about it. You have to figure it out. But honestly, brother, what Ian said is so right. You're losing to the girlfriend every time. <laughs> and if you want to expand it to a friends and girlfriends trip, but you probably don't want to do that. You just want to hang out with your fellas. Now, if we want to be realistic... Maybe the issue is, all right, maybe you guys aren't getting on a flight together, but what about a road trip to, like, a fucking beach somewhere? Like, you know what I mean? Like, that might be an easier pill to swallow. Like, you go to the Jersey Shore, you go to, like, the Outer Banks, or you just, like, a boys trip somewhere else, or even within the continental United States, it's probably a little easier for a a, a non-approving girlfriend to, like, wrap her head around it, but... Ultimately, brother, it's the guy's decision. There's yeah, nothing you true. can do about it, Mark. There's nothing you can do. You're about right. It. Like, yeah, you Mark. Stay, he's doing the right thing because he's like, I know it's my place. It's not my place to get involved. Yeah. He's like, he's that's the girl. That's the person who ha- he has sex with. So yeah. it's a losing battle. <laughs> that's cool that's, as you are. You know what? That really says it all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that really says it all, Mark. Until you start sucking your boy off, yeah, she's got the be, trump card. Yeah, she's, yeah. <laughs> Especially if the pussy's good, and you can tell. Yeah, if you think he's, it's because he's not going been, on vacation, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that tells you your answer. <laughs> very, very, it's so true. All right, I'll just hit us with another one, baby. Do you guys vet these? Or are you just? Eldest goes to him, and we have a producer, hey, our Bobby. pre-producer, Ralph. She Love produces you. them oh, sometimes. Girl. Yeah, let's hear from her. I Love the show. So glad you're bringing it back. So my name's Marissa. I'm calling with a question that actually doesn't pertain to sucking and fucking. Great. We, they, we appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> play from, play from the story. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm calling with a question that actually doesn't. <laughs> pertain to sucking and fucking just <laughs> to mix it up, you know, keep it fresh. So my fiance and I are looking for Next <laughs> <laughs> No no play back, no play back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, obviously it's like crazy mix it up, you know, Holy. keep it fresh. So my fiance and I are looking to buy a house right now. Obviously it's like crazy expensive and pretty much out of reach. Um, we're struggling to find something we can afford, and he suggested maybe getting a duplex, like a multi-unit house, so we could live in one side and rent out the other to help pay for the mortgage. I'm just really uncomfortable being a landlord, um, and I worry that we'll I be in a position to have to like kick somebody out or whatever, and I just can't do shit like that to people. So we've been talking about it, and I said like I'd, I'd consider doing it if we'll accept Section 8, um, but I just worry... Section Still. Um, so my question is, like, is there an ethical way to be a landlord? I mean, people need places to live. And better me owning the house than some, like, private equity company, right? I don't know. Help me. Her, her ultimate question? Here. Oh, Her okay. ultimate question, you may have not heard it, but she said, is it unethical to be a landlord? Mm, interesting. No. Yeah, I mean. You're a landlord. Huh? I'm not a landlord. I well, mean, my no. brother lives in the house. I fucking pay for it. Yeah. I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I don't... He he does it... Since the pandemic, I stopped charging him rent, and I just... This just, girl, she has a good heart. This is what it is. She's she like, does. Do, do good or good spirit. And I see... Listen, I see where she's coming from. There is something, like, fucked... I get it. Like, feeling that it is fucked up to, like... Someone just needs a place to live, and you're charging them. You're paying off your mortgage and making money off of them. And it's like... It's so hard to own a house in America that, like, we're forced to 
lend and they've made it so that you have to have a, a, a crazy amount of money to even buy a house where most people, their rent is enough, is more than a mortgage, right? Yeah. And it's just because they don't have the money up front yeah. to get it. And it is, there is something unethical about our system in that way where it's like, especially now where housing prices are fucking through the roof and like private equity firms are buying them up or like yeah. foreign money is just stashing yeah. their money in. So but I don't I think get it's it. unethical because I rent because I want to rent. Like yeah, I, sure. I can buy, I can put, uh, you know, if I wanted to, I can purchase an uh, inexpensive home somewhere, but yeah. I don't want the everything that comes with that. Yeah. I want to rent. I want to have somebody. That flexibility. Yeah. That if, if there's a problem in my bill, they'll fix it. Like I, 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 like I live in a condo. I rent. I, I don't have to take care of anything. Like, yeah. 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 For I sure. like that. I enjoy no, that. And, and, and that's true. And I've thought about this too, because I kind of thought about what if I buy a place and um, like I will, like if, if it's, I kind of wanted to get multiple apartments and I was like, well, I same thing. Like, would I be a landlord? Cause it's just like, cause one day I thought about it, like I'd like my family to move it kind of yeah. honestly, like, you know, fucking yeah. immigrant yeah. style yeah. where it's like, it would be nice if my brother, cause if I have one brother, him and his wife, maybe they might move to New York someday. Yeah. It would be nice. Or I have, you know, my best friends who are like fucking, what if Elvis moves in? What if my friend that, you know, she used to live here. She's in Baltimore. She might come back someday. Yeah. And so I guess two things about the unethical. I see what you're saying about the unethical thing. Also think about it in terms of do you just want to do it? Because it sucks. It is like there's risk involved. And also, yeah, you don't want to take care of everything. You don't want to like kick somebody out if they fucking if they don't pay their rent. Like there's a lot being a landlord. There's a lot of downsides to it. And it'll make you feel fucking shitty. Even if you, and then if, if it goes well, you're like, damn, I'm kind of like. But so, she she wants to buy a house, but can't afford to. Right. So she has to do, like, right. it's not like about, it's not like. An so option. I would, here's, I say the way to maybe thread the needle a little bit is something that I considered. Like, if I were to buy a place and it had multiple units, I literally would go to people that I knew and I would be like, like I would say like, hey, eldest, like. You know that doesn't make for like a good landlord. Like, huh? I'm like, not trying to make money though. That's I what know, I'm saying. That's the thing. You're, well, you're trying to take a. You're gonna take a loss. Well, not a loss though. What if you? Because people are gonna be. You know, they're your friends. So it's like, oh, bro, I can't come up with the rent this year. I'm just telling you the way I could yeah, do it, yeah, personally. And, and what I thought. Of. No, <laughs> even but yeah, even before I was rich. <laughs> I'm like my plumbing's still broken. We got too high with my landlord last night. So I just got around to <laughs> fixing that for me. But I, I guess I kind of think of it more as like instead of landlord and, and almost like trying to get like communal living going where it's like because that's the thing about new york it's like it'd be nice if everyone in the building had a bond and you treated this like your home yeah. together yeah and it's like you look at it as like well like okay can you can you cover it like i would a charge like not i wouldn't be making money off it i would just charge like that prorated part of the mortgage to be like you take that part off my plate you live there and then I pay for like the more, you know, I pay for like my shit. Yeah, I mean, there's but, a word for that. It's socialism. But I, <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to bring that to America, and that's fine. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What, 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 I think you're like that's like a do gooder. That's like a yeah, like a yeah. Bill Gates. Like I'm just trying to help. Sure. You know, not you know, like have all the money in the world wants to help. Of course. Um, in her situation, I mean, like you could. But what you're saying is like just be a cool landlord. Yeah, I guess. I guess that is. It's if, not unethical if you're a cool landlord. I agree. I ultimately, I think I do agree because it's also like a tough like a lot of immigrants have like you build a little you know you build you get a little something yeah because it's like what are the other options it's like stocks like it's like all that shit is like you yeah. know exploitive in some way but yeah it's like as long as you're i guess if you if you have to do it and it's like yeah be a cool landlord. be a cool landlord and That's just it. like yeah. but it does come with it does seem fucking annoying too it is annoying but you get a house True. You're right. You're right. That, <laughs> that's the trade off versus like a paying. Rich guy. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. why would you want to deal yeah, with yeah, people? Yeah, like, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want to buy a house? I guess that's true. Um, all right. Next question, LD. Hey, Stop. Uh, I'm an uh, insurance defense attorney in Alabama. I make about $80,000 a year, but. Uh, before I became a lawyer about three or four years ago, I got into some payday installment loan debt. Oh, no. And uh, I've gotten a DUI a couple years oh, ago. Fuck. But my firm ordered me through it. And uh, my brother died of a heroin. What the fuck? 
couple years ago, and then my Damn, best bro. friend's brother died of heroin heroin overdose Ooh. about uh, a week ago, and uh, fuck, it's really fucking with me. And, yes, uh, of course. So to give context, uh, I live in Montgomery, Alabama, and my family and friends, most of my friends live in Auburn, Alabama, which is about an hour away. Um, I'm giving a lot of thought to moving back home with my parents for 90 days, uh, no, no more, no less. And, uh, saving up some money and, uh, uh, trying to get my drinking under control. Cause they're total teetotalers that don't allow drinking in their house. And, uh, um, but I also have enough money to continue living in Montgomery and maintaining my current lifestyle. It's just kind of making me sad. And, uh, well, oh, okay. I guess I wanted to ask, you know, is, is there a lot of shame and moving home and you're, I'm, I'm 36 years old and, uh, I make more than my parents do combined, but, um, I kind of need to go home, not for kind of for financial reasons. Cause don't want to get into it, but, um, there's more, more so you don't want to get into. Uh, I'd fuck? like your opinion on that. If you, if you've ever Poor done guy. that. Um, yeah, I can definitely know, like, give my opinion on this, months, buddy. Have you ever gone home for like a month? Did it help? Did it not help? And when you left that environment, did it, uh, did the change of stick? Uh, anyway, my name's, I live in Auburn, Alabama. Let's believe his uh, last name, man. I'm glad you left come town, but I, uh, totally understand why because your <laughs> stand up career is popping off. And, uh, I've watched all the, watch your documentaries on YouTube, I've watched all your clips, and, uh, I'm a big fan, but I, um, I know you'll probably shit on me, but I, I kind of <laughs> would like your advice on this. Of so, course. Maybe um, make his whole name out of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a lawyer from <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, small we'll town. That. We got you. We got you, brother. Um, first of all, I'd love to thank Elders for asking. Que- the two questions back to back are, uh, what are the moral and ethical yeah, I'm like, limitations I, I of, Stog, of... I thought Stog was a different guy. Yeah, I didn't yeah, know yeah. this was... <laughs> of, <laughs> of, giving financial of, advice? Of being, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, of being a landlord. And everyone I've ever met has killed themselves and I'm drunk as fuck. Dick and titties with And you. I'm thinking know. about... Yeah. <laughs> Maybe spread them out, Eldish, <laughs> next time, you motherfucker. Um, anyway... Okay, but yeah, you are. Things are going real fucking bad right now, and I get that. Um, and I look, I get the, I get the, the stigma and the shame attached to moving back home. But you clearly have an aim here, right? And it's not like you are, you know, it's not like shit is going. The stigma usually is like, you know, loser, loser with nothing going on moves back. You know, has to, has to move back. That's not him though. That's not what's going on with you. I think, no. I think what's going on is that you clearly some bad things have happened, right? And they're pushing you and they've made your, you know, you have a specific problem, it sounds like, that you really want to get under control in terms of your drinking. And if that's the case, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think that's actually very, it's important and it's almost noble to understand that because if it's, it would be very easy, like you said, you could maintain your lifestyle. It's fucking Alabama. If you have $42, you could fucking rent the penthouse of the fucking most <laughs> expensive building in that town. So you work, you have a good job, you can maintain your lifestyle, and you're going through some shit. And it would be easy to kind of really with, you know, it would be easy to just kind of let your demons take over and try and like get through all the sadness, you know, the the bad way. But you have enough context and you have enough like you have enough wisdom at this point in your life to realize that's not going to get you anywhere so i don't think there's anything wrong with that as long as you are really serious about your goals and you take uh you know you take working on your drinking it sounds like that's the biggest problem in your life it'll affect as everything else happens that's making you sad that'll just amplify it and i know that to be the case for me too when my own problems with it's food and drugs for me and food first and foremost when I'm really fucking depressed, but then I'll get really fucked up too. And if I'm going through a tough time and I let those take over, that just makes everything worse. So I think you're right to recognize if I don't get this shit under control with all the shit I'm dealing with, shit could get really bad for me. <clears throat> I, the, other, the one thing I would say though is make sure it's the decision you want. Because you say, you're saying it like they're total teetotalers, they don't allow any drinking in their house. 
it's got to be that you really want to do it, right? Like if you just move home and you don't want to make a change, if you move home and you're not going there with like a, a game plan, that can be that can be a little dangerous. You're kind of in no man's land potentially about getting stuck and maybe you stay there a little too long. Um, and I wouldn't even put a 90-day thing on it. I would just say it has to truly come from you what you you have some goals you really want to achieve when you are on your way when you have gotten your drinking under control you can move back you can go continue you know your lifestyle whatever but there is no there is no shame in moving somewhere um moving back home to whether it's to save money for something i definitely moved back home after college i lived alone for a while moved back home saved up money to go to new york I, I couldn't have done that without moving back home. And we're all fucking... Everyone on this podcast is a fucking immigrant. You yeah. live with your family until you get married in, our, in all and our cultures. And then you move upstairs. Yeah, yeah. 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 So don't, don't feel any shame in that. And there's actually, it's some, there's, always, there's actually something really nice. You know, we've talked about how we're too close to our family sometimes. But something that is really fucking weird about American culture to me is this like shame of living with your family yeah we don't know? have that we, we don't have that and that and it's also it's sad because it's like you shouldn't even feel this you should be like i need support who gives me support my fucking family okay, yeah and i think i think for where you are with all the shit you're dealing with um it makes total sense and don't feel fucking bad about it and just work on your shit though right like you don't want to get caught in that vortex but it sounds like it sounds like shit is going you have a plan it's, you're going through a tough time. And even if it's just like, fuck, I need to just not, I need a little extra support because a lot of bad shit has happened in my life. That's totally cool too. So let us know. Call back. Um, give us a fucking update. When, let me scroll up, Elders. When the fuck did he send this? We should fucking, we should fucking do this episode soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. This won't come out for, you sent this a month ago. It ain't coming out for another month. So hold on for us, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> until, we, until, <laughs> until we fucking, until this comes out. Hopefully everything's going good, but we're rooting for you. Hopefully you just <laughs> call us even if you don't have an update. Just let us know everything's going all right. Um, all right. Uh, we're rooting for you, pal. Go over there, enjoy, uh, you know, move back home to Alabama. We'll send you $18, and that should hold you uh, over. That should hold you over <laughs> <for> the holidays. <laughs> so you get a six-month lease with a furnished place. <laughs> uh, all right, baby, hit us. Hit us, Eldis. Stop. Um, I need your help. I'm trying to better myself, and I'm trying to figure out which day is the optimal day to be – the biggest piece of shit. Okay. What I mean is, is let's say, for example, I am a piece of shit just on a Saturday. Okay. This is a slippery, slippery slope, as in the Saturday evolves to the Sunday, which then evolves to the rest of the week. Now, if I be a piece of shit on a Sunday, I am such a piece of fucking shit that it just ruins the rest of the week. Okay. So, um, just, just wonder if you have any life advice on just wanting to balance out being a piece of shit. What are you talking about? trying to get your life together. This is so what I can what eventually I lead to being a piece of shit. When should I be a piece of shit? Really? You didn't think I was going to have to deal with, like, the tales of uh, my 21st tragic American life? <laughs> the, the fucking uh, opioid issues and... <laughs> Life in the rural south. Yeah, I thought I was getting more of this shit too, Ian. Uh, by the way, we do appreciate your call, buddy, and we are rooting for you, the guy before this. But um, when to be a big piece of shit? Well, you know, I, I don't, I mean, Saturday is, what do you mean Saturday's a slippery slope? This guy, is, this was a little too rehearsed. He 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 really lost some steam at the end there. Yeah, I mean, he it's said like, a piece of shit like six times. <laughs> there was, there was, I checked out. Yeah, yeah. There's really because his logic falls apart instantly because he's yeah. like, if I'm a piece of shit on Saturday, that's a slippery slope. Because then, what if I'm a piece of shit Sunday? But then he's like, but what if I'm a piece of shit Sunday? I could be a piece of shit Monday, and it's like, what do you? Yes, that is how that shit works. What is it? What is a piece of shit? Like that can be think, so many things. Sure, yeah. I don't. I think you mean just getting fucked up, eating like shit, letting your habits. Kind of a cheat day. Yeah. I, I mean, don't think he means 
what day should I hit my children? <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't think he means that kind of Because that's shit. definitely Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> it's the perfect day. They went to school Monday. They think it happened at school. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you don't want to do it on the weekend. I don't know. I think I think if you to hit your kids, you'd want to kind of do it right in the middle. Of the week? Yeah. The Tuesday. Pace Tuesday, yourself. Wednesday, Wednesday, I think. Wednesday. Hump day. Yeah. A little something well, to get Tuesday you over the Tuesday gives you enough time. I mean, Wednesday, if you hit your kids on Wednesday, then they'd be like, well, he was here on Monday, Tuesday, and was fine. Right, If right. you're just there Monday, you're like, he was here yesterday, but I don't remember. Was he good? Or did Interesting. I think maybe, actually, if you want to keep uh, if you want to keep the authorities off you, Friday right after school is probably the best one. Because you got the weekend Because you got the weekend to, like, yeah. exactly, you don't want to leave any marks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Friday's good. But then that ruins but, your but weekend. But again, that's true. Then, yeah, yeah, that's true, because you're sad. You're like, oh, fuck, why? Yeah. I said I was going to be different than my father. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you're, you're spending all weekend Get Yeah, so you're right. There is a lot to it. So if you were asking about that type of piece of shit, we got you covered. But I think he just means eating a little ice cream and uh, getting well, drunk. Well, do whatever whenever you want. I think Saturday is Saturday the best is day. Saturday is great, yeah. Don't let it carry into Sunday. Cut it off. Sunday, what, 2 a.m.? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut yeah. it off. And that, that is the thing is like, that's what Saturdays are for. Right, and Sunday's to recoup. Like, this question is like... It's, it's ridiculous. There's literally a weekend that's it's set up structurally for you to... The, the American work week is right. gives you the example. Right, they do it Saturday. Yeah, unless you have a, unless you have a non-traditional job, in which case, find your Saturday and do it then. Like, yeah. we work on weekends, but then yeah. we are pieces of shit on the weekend where yeah. we work, too. Yeah. Very few jobs you get to also get fucked up <laughs> afterwards yeah. and try yeah. and fuck... <laughs> Try and fuck well, the people that in the same room. Because they yeah. ruined it. Yeah. The women. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not. It's Mad Men's over. Yeah. <laughs> what a shame. Um. Well, what do, what do you think? One more time for one more, my friend. Uh. Yeah. I could do one more. You no, gotta go. No, I could do one more. You can do no, one more. No, no. All right. Cool. <clears throat> Try not to try not to be about uh, anyone killing Death. themselves. So <laughs> this maybe just something lighthearted. <laughs> yeah, I was just wondering. Um, if I could get some advice about how to seem less desperate when I'm trying okay. to get laid. Okay. This guy talks like a family um, guy know, character. I'm a couple of women, and <laughs> it just seems like they can smell the desperation, and I just want to know. Yeah, we can smell it, pal. not act like I really need to bust a nut, you know? <laughs> Well, Thanks, Bobby. I would say don't use this breathy whisper that you're using with us right now. Yeah, I would say there's no hope for this. If I had a pussy, I would sew it shut <laughs> after listening to you for, for 15 seconds. So no, we got to like, do... I like how we said, we're not going to be bullies anymore. Yeah. <laughs> like, we, we, learned, we learned our lesson yeah. and not to be... Guys. He's like, if I had a pussy, I would sew it shut. <laughs> you just get the fucking... I would open up the that cookie basket that every every fucking mom kept all her sewing, sewing equipment in. Um, okay, buddy. Well, look, this is a this is a, a classic question. It's tough. There is a little bit of fake it till you make it here, yeah. you know. And you gotta act like you've been there before. You do gotta act like you've been there before. It was just you know easier said than done. Um, if you've never been there. <laughs> if you've never been there. But try and remember what it was like when you got pussy. That helps. Visualize it. The secret. But not in public. Don't yeah, yeah, yeah. He's hard. He's hard at the date. <laughs> As he's talking to her. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, okay. Are you just trying to get laid? Are you ju you're just simply trying to fuck? Because we could, you know, Ian's high school method is a good way to... I, and this is what I did too. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I don't mean to keep pointing you out. My the first time I had sex, it was like somebody I dated in college because I didn't have I didn't have the guts to make a move. So I yeah. formed a deep bond yeah. with someone, and and it felt fell natural. Yeah. You know, we fell in love, and yeah. it was natural. Do you want to do that? That's a possibility. But if you're just trying to bust a nut, and you're like, how do I seem less desperate? Either fake it, be a good actor, yeah. pretend like you're not desperate. Yeah, don't bring up sex, neither. Like, don't bring up sex with these women. Because he said they could smell the desperation. He's probably bringing up sex. It's true, yeah, yeah. Or, or, or like, the, the don't bring it up, but also don't let it barely be underneath the surface. You know what I mean? Yeah, like he's like, like don't, ah, yeah. I love, yeah, no, I actually love the unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Uh, do you want to come watch it? Yeah, right, you know, like right. you know, it's not, not right. don't bring it up, but also don't make it obvious. How All bad. those things where you think you're being slick, they could, they know. <laughs> yeah, that. you're like, not being you're slick. Not being slick. They know. Maybe you, beat off so that the get immediate. Get circumcised. <laughs> no, <laughs> do not. That's that is the, some right. of the worst <laughs> things you could possibly do. <laughs> you do not. <laughs> they can smell the circumcision on you. Uh, the recent circumcision. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> um, you're gonna want to beat off so that you are you have less to, you know you have less immediate you're less less immediately horny even. I find myself sometimes where I'm like, I'm just texting someone. I'm like, oh, we got to hang out. You know, just like saying crazy shit. I beat off. I'm and like, then you why change your number. Do that? Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. I call Verizon. <laughs> and I'm like, I need a new phone number. I need a block. I need a permanent <laughs> block on this particular number. Uh, <laughs> um, now, the other thing you could do, you're very desperate. And I don't know what you're what sexual arena you're this particular guy is in but we all know there's a ballpark of the types of people we can fuck easily mm-hmm. or who who we who sure, we who are trying sure. to fuck or who we are trying to sure. maybe you're trying to aspire to something better and get a higher quality person sure you need to get lower whatever you are get one degree lower tell her to lower his expectations lower for yes exactly cure desperation by just busting a couple nuts that's true the, the, uh, the whatever they are <laughs> do not go to the DR. All do right. not. Do I'm not. Sorry. I'm not the best at advice. <laughs> you got seventy five bucks. Do not know? do it. For, don't bust for money. It will okay. only make Sorry. it worse. <laughs> do what. Do but fuck somebody ugly. <laughs> Easy, you know, with no money. Um, that's kind of what I'm saying. Is like you got to take a couple practice swings. You got to get. You you know like. If if you haven't done stand up in six months, let's say yeah, you go to the standing room. Yeah, <laughs> right. You go to a shitty little club. Yeah, you don't go to fucking. You don't go do a theater show. No, sure. your first show's not the theater show. Sure, they I, can tell. They can smell that you're not ready. Exactly. So fuck somewhere that's bad. You know, fuck someone who you don't care about. Yes. Like maybe she doesn't care about you either. Maybe it's just obvious. But look, low go, get lower than where you are and where you want to be. Because you got to get there, right? Like, you go, you haven't been to the gym, you can't start fucking bench pressing your personal best no. this first day. Work your way you up. You got to work your way up. So that's yeah. another thing. Fuck people that are easier to fuck who won't, who don't care that you're desperate, maybe. That's a possibility. Um, there you go. I think we, I think we... Yeah, I mean, that's a good... I think we told our boy what he needed to... So, yeah. let you know, good luck. Let us know. Fill us in. Um, that is going to do it for us this week, folks. Yeah. Ian... Plug plug all your shit. Where oh, where are you gonna be? Go see my boy live. He's fucking hilarious. And go watch the special if you haven't already. Thank folks. you, brother. Yeah, watch the special. It's on HBO Max. Ian Lara Romantic Comedy next year. I'm going back on the road in January. I got the Denver Improv first weekend of January. I got Laughs Unlimited in Sacramento. I got uh, the comedy at Ann Arbor at the beginning of February. Oh, nice. The Denver Comedy for Dr. Grins, Grand Rapids, Michigan. It's all on IanLaraLive.com. Check me out. I'm going all over. Go check him out. Follow him everywhere. Watch the special. Call in if you want us to uh, give you advice in a future show. 904-800-STAV. 904-800-STAV. Eldis is probably flashing it across the screen as we speak. Isn't that right, LD? Oh, uh, yeah. And uh, we will be back next week. Thank you, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Appreciate you. That was awesome. Thank you, man. A lot of fun, dude.